All right, so in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to type in your answer rather than just think about it. So normally in Anki, what we do is we have something on the front, which cues us to try to think of an association with that thing. And then we just think about that thing. And then we press show answer and see if we're correct. But you can also have it, you can also type in the answer if your answer is something that can be typed. So I'll show you how to do this. Start out by creating a sample deck here. Sample note type. All right, so we're gonna have two fields. First field will be called kanji. Second field will be called reading. So in Japanese, often a word is an ideograph. And then to read the word, there's a certain pronunciation. So this is phonetic, and this says ne ko. So the way to pronounce this is neko. So in Japanese, you'll often want to drill whether you can read the kanji, uh, pronounce it. So normally what would happen with uh, this card model, kanji on the front, reading on the back, is when you look at the card, you have the front, then you need to think, okay, how do you pronounce this? All right. Nickel. Okay, that's correct. So, that's how it normally works. But what you can also do is go into your card model and you can move the answer to the front of the card, but then write in front of it, type. And just to make this look a little bit better, let's make it, uh, let's put some line breaks so it looks nice uh, looks better it's down there instead of right up against it all right so press study now and it will give me the front but then it'll ask me to type this on so if I type it in correctly it'll show this it'll show it as green whereas if I type it in incorrectly it'll show exactly what is incorrect in what I typed so that's how it works